up, it's me, Steph, the alternate. Your nerdy alternative filling in for Andy for this particular update in the search for Nicola Bully. Andy did release a video yesterday. There was a major development. A body has been found in the River Y. It's not being confirmed as Nicola Bully yet. However... Yes, um, the diving expert Peter Folding is not happy with the police at the moment. Seems like they're treating him as the fall guy for it all. Um, now, he scoured the river for missing mother of two, Nicola Bully, and he has now spoken for the first time since the body has been found near to where she went missing. Peter Folding is the head of the Specialist Group International, and he led a team of experts and divers to assist Lancashire police over the last few weeks in searching the river using specialist sonar equipment. Now, he previously did say that he didn't believe that Nicola Bully was actually in the water despite the police actually being very adamant in saying no the theory is she fell in the river wire she's there she's somewhere she's there now as mentioned as andy did uh do the video yesterday on this a body has now been found by divers and although yes it's not yet to be identified ms bully's family have been informed of the discovery and responding to the news yesterday evening mr folding did say that you know our thoughts are with nicola's family and friends at this difficult time now um he went on good morning britain and this is what he had to say in regards to this situation where he now feels like he's being used as a scapegoat and not being very happy with the police. Here we go. I still go with that view in any in any inquiry Ed, that that people can disappear. You know, there was there was no evidence that Nicola went in the river at that particular at, at the bench because she would have fallen into two foot of water. I believe that Nicola probably walked off somewhere and either has gone in the river in some other way. Um, but there's been much speculation around this. And unfortunately, this is about now a missing, um, not trying to beat the blame up. There's always a fall guy. And obviously, I'm the one who's taking the fall for this. But I, hand on heart, went to help that family, Absolutely. as we do many other families each year, for drowning victims. And so... And so here we go in regards to the full statement from Peter Folding uh, on their Facebook page, Specialist Group International SGI. So it says, an update from Peter Folding. I would like to extend my sincere condolences to the family and friends of Nicola Bully at this very difficult time. The SGI underwater search team was tasked with searching the river upstream of Weir in the non-tidal part of the river past the bench where Nicola's phone was found and a mile upstream past this point. So they were, they were instructed to search a specific part of the river, a very, very specific part, which they did. For three days, using high-frequency side-scan sonar, we thoroughly searched the riverbed and can categorically confirm that Nicola was not laying on the riverbed on the days that we searched. We did search the stretch of river where Nicola was found for four hours on our first day and then upstream past the weir on the subsequent two days. The police underwater search teams and land search teams were searching for three full weeks and were also unable to find Nicola. Unfortunately, it was a member of the public that made the grim discovery. Sadly, the discovery was not found in the river, but in the reeds at the side of the river, which was not part of our remit as the side scan sonar does not penetrate reeds above or below the water. So... Again, he was, he and his team were asked to search a specific part of the river. And even if they were asked, right, can you search the part of the river where the reeds are? The reeds would have um, blocked the equipment. The equipment wouldn't have worked at that point because of all the reeds that were there, right? And so it goes on. 
a riverbank and weird search would be the only way to search this area and we were not involved or tasked with that search. The difference between these two search areas has caused a lot of confusion and unfair criticism towards myself and my team at Specialist Group International, SGI. And here he is uh, on a, another interview just mentioning that right now. I'd like to make it very clear that um, the Lancashire Police have searched that area thoroughly with divers, their sonar and their bank search officers. And if this is the body of Nicola, then she was not found in the river. She was actually found in the reed bed to, to the side of the river. Our task was to clear the river. And at the time, I can categorically say, I have the data to prove it, that there was no body in the river at that time when we were searching. So ours was not the reeds. And our main focus was above the bench area, above the weir. We searched for four hours in that particular stretch and where Nicola's body was found, down to the bridge. And I can hand on heart say we did our best, yeah. but she was not on the riverbed. We would have seen her clearly. Lights OK. So... Going back to this particular statement, uh, he then continues to say, uh, my previous comments saying that if Nicola was in the river, I would find her still stands. My team and I at SGI did all we could to assist this family with only our best intentions. I am sure I can say this of everyone who has been involved in this difficult search. Uh, he then goes on to say, I did not volunteer my services, my equipment or my team for any limelight or publicity. I simply wanted to land extra resources to help a family in despair. And this was supported by Lancashire Police. However, there has been unprecedented media and public interest in this case. And at every turn, I was asked for an update on my own search, which I provided with only best intentions. And that is true. This has been a very, very high profile missing persons case. And when he got involved, there was a lot of interest and in asking of him, what have you found? Have you found anything? Any clues? Any clues? Any clues? Any clues? Any clues? And so he did his best to update people. It's as simple as that, right? And so he says, support for my assistance and my actions have been overwhelmingly positive, although I am aware of that some negativity has been towards myself and my team. SGI is the recognised underwater search team for Essex, Surrey, Sussex, Kent, Hampshire and Thames Valley Police. Uh, this is all uh, south of England here, uh, who, have we, who we have worked closely alongside for many years. Uh, and they are quite big police forces, those ones he's mentioned there. Unfortunately, there are a few police underwater search teams left. Each year we locate and recover many unfortunate victims and bring them back to their families. Sadly, for circumstances out of our control and as hard as we try, sometimes we are unable to locate the missing person, Nicola Bully. So this is the thing, right? This whole unfair criticism and scapegoating, right, um, of Peter Folding... And, and, he, and his team is completely unfair. It is unfair. And I can absolutely understand why he's angry that he's being used as a scapegoat, whether that's by the police, the public, the media, because it is totally unfair. They were tasked to search a specific section of the River Wire. They did that. They did not find a body. It is as simple as that. The body that has been found was found in a particular area of the river where it was all reeds. And as Peter Folden had explained himself, even if, even if they were tasked to search that specific area, couldn't have done it because their equipment would have been incompatible with that particular section of the river because of all the reeds. The, the reeds, the, the equipment wouldn't have worked because of all the reeds that were there. So anyone that is using Peter Folding and his team as a scapegoat and blaming them saying, oh, they should have found this body sooner, quicker, this, that and the other. Well, 
based on what I've just seen here and from the words from Peter Folding himself, I think is absolutely completely unfair. But you know what? Enough with my gob. It's now time for your gobs. What do you think to this latest development? Do you think he should be treated as a scapegoat and be blamed or not? You let me know in the comments down below. And if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, there is going to be more, do make sure you click on that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to all, like this video, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatevers. Also as well, you can always go one step further and join today for as little as $5.99 a month where you get exclusive exclusive commentary and videos from Andy himself. But you guys, until the next time, you laters.